Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Mac Tutorials. So far I draw a plan and I add furnishing with the object tool. Then I create some lighting for the ceiling with the profile manager. And in this tutorial, uh, I want to do something different. Instead of working on two dimensional environment, I want to create something vertically. Uh, I mean, uh, I want to make this plan to an apartment building. So let's learn, practice, and share. To make an apartment building in ArchiCAD or even a high-rise building, we have three major options. First, we can select all the object with the select tool. Then we can hit Ctrl C on the keyboard. So all the elements will be copied for us. Then we go to the next floor and then paste all the objects that we copied with Ctrl V on the keyboard. And then right click on the marquee area and then we can hit OK. Now on the 3D view, we have another level on the top of the plan that we draw. As you notice, all the elements that we draw uh, will be copied to the next floor. Even all the furniture, these lightings on the ceiling and uh, everything. It's like we cloned the first floor to the next floor. The next option is almost similar, but let me undo this step. I'm going back to the first floor. I'm going to select the marquee tool and select the area that I want to copy. Then I can select only the walls by clicking on the wall tool, then Control A. So all the walls will be uh, selected for us. Then I need the slabs, of course. I'm going to uh, select the slab tool and then Control A. Now all the walls and slabs only selected for us and I don't select any furnishing which is the object tool and uh, also these lightings on the ceiling uh, which I draw with the uh, profile manager and uh, I draw it as uh, a beam. So if you want to know how to work with the profile manager to create something like this, click on the card right up here and watch that video. And if you learned something new, don't forget to hit the like button on that video. Back to my explanation. We also need the stairs to be copied to the next floor. So I'm going to select the stir tool and then Control A on the keyboard. Then I'm going to hit the Control C on the keyboard and all these objects will be selected for us. Then I'm going to the next floor and then Control V. I'm going to right click and then OK. Now back to the uh, 3D view, we will see that we only have the slabs and the doors. Also, I should mention that when we select all the walls, we don't need to select the windows and doors separately because when we draw doors and windows, we can only do it on the walls. So when we copy the wall, uh, all the uh, windows and doors will be copied with the walls. So I could repeat uh, this step once again by adding another story on the top and I can add another floor on top of these floors. Another thing that I want to mention is when we copy all the elements from uh, one floor to another floor, uh, we should consider the thickness of the slab. If you remember, I draw the walls by linking the height of the wall to the next floor. So when we are having the slab, these walls is going uh, inside the slab. As you see, when I select these wall, these nodes shows the actual height of the wall. And uh, then here we have the slab. Also, if I uh, go to the other side, I have drawn a kernish for uh, the ceiling lightings. And when I come to this view, we cannot see that because the slab is covering that part. So if I delete this slab, we see that the kernish is uh, still there. So I'm going to undo this deleting and uh, I should fix this conflict. So I'm going back to the first floor. I'm going to select all the walls. Control A. 
And then here, link to the stories, I'm gonna set to not linked. And uh, then I know that uh, the story height is three meters. The thickness of the slab is 30 centimeters. So I should reduce the height of the walls by 30 centimeters. So uh, I, I should set the wall height to uh, two meter and 70. Then I'm gonna select these uh, cornices uh, on the ceilings. Also, I added some uh, to the bedrooms. So I'm gonna select those two. And then here, the height from the home story is three meters. If I want to these cornices um, attached to the ceiling, uh, it must be on two meters and 70. Now, if I go back to the 3D view and uh, I go inside of the plan, you see that we have the curtains at the right place and then we have this lab. This conflict is a result of uh, ArchiCAD calculates this lab tool from the home story to the lower story. So we must be careful about drawing the walls for the uh, heights and the slab thickness. So here I have uh, this wall, this wall and this lab in the middle. Another option that you have for solving these uh, conflicts, if I go back to the floor plan, I'm going to add another story to the second story. So I go to the story settings. I'm going to select in the second floor. Then I'm going to insert above. And then the height is uh, the same as the selected story that we uh, added above. I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to the third story. So I'm going back to the second story. I'm going to uh, select all the elements that we have here uh, because on this floor, I don't have furnishing or other um, elements that uh, I don't want to be copied to the next floor. I'm going to copy and paste on the next floor with the keyboard shortcuts. Then here, I'm going to hit OK. And then if I turn back here, we have the same problem. We have the wall-to-wall -wall object and this slab uh, is conflicting. Uh, I wanted to show you another method, which is uh, selecting the slab tool and uh, you can offset the slab to the inside line of the wall. So I'm going to do it like that. Then I'm going to the 3D view. And then here we have wall-to-wall -wall model. It depends on you. How do you want to draw the plan or make the 3D view? So on these levels, we have wall-to-wall -wall model. And on this level, I have walls, uh, slab, and walls. We have these options in reality. I mean, if you ever visited a construction site, you will see that they built the walls on the top of the slab and the wall also finishes to the slab. But in this case, we're going to have a much more clean model on the tree view and we don't see any conflicts or extra lines of the walls and the slab. So it completely depends on you that how do you want to make the 3D model on ArchiCAD? So I'm going to undo this part. Then I'm going to add a, another level to this level. So I should insert above uh, this level. And if I want to know how to work with the story setting, click on the uh, card right up here and uh, watch the tutorial uh, that I made for the story settings. Then I'm going to hit OK. And on the fourth floor, I want to try another method. Again, I'm going back to the first floor, which is the original plan that I draw. Then here, I'm going to right click on the floor. Here we have edit element by stories. In this new window, we can select all the element types that we want to copy. Then we can set the action that we want. For example, we can cut or even delete some uh, elements. Then we can set that from which story we want to copy or delete or cut to which story. For this method, I want to copy uh, only uh, the walls and the slabs and also uh, the stairs. 
Then I'm going to copy these three elements from the first floor to the fourth floor. Then I'm going to hit OK. On the 3D view, we will see that the same thing happened as uh, we were copy and pasting to each floor. But for example, if we want to make a high rise and we have a tower of 20 floor, it is really time consuming that uh, you copy and paste to each floor all the elements that you want to be copied. In this method that I just explained, you can paste the same thing on the multiple floors at the same time. I mean, if I uh, delete all of these and on the third floor, I'm going to delete these and also on the second floor. So uh, on the treaty, now we have only the basic uh, plan that we draw. I'm going to right click on the first floor. Then I'm going back to uh, the edit elements by stories. Uh, only the walls, slabs and stairs has been selected for us because this is the last settings that I used for this window. Then I'm going to hit copy from the first floor to the uh, second, third and fourth floor. Then I'm going to hit OK. And you will see that all these elements has been copied for us by just doing one step. I would like to do the uh, same step a couple of times to create uh, the apartment that I'm designing. There you go. Uh, this is the apartment building that I just um, draw by clicking a few times and I didn't need to uh, draw each floor uh, every time. Then uh, on the top, I'm going to add another floor to uh, this top floor. I'm going to name it as roof. Insert above, of course, and the height doesn't matter because uh, it's a roof. So I'm going to create it. And then here I'm going to use the trace reference and then I'm going to uh, draw a slab to this floor. Like this, I'm going to copy uh, this slab settings and I'm going to apply it to this. Then I'm going to select it and I'm going to bring it to the story that I draw it. That's it. Also, we have stairs here. Uh, I want to uh, delete this one. And for the next tutorial, I desire to work with the roof tool to create a roof uh, with uh, different methods. So if you want to see that, that tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell sign so uh, you will be notified as I uploaded that tutorial. If you learned something new in this tutorial, don't forget to hit the like button. Also, if you have some question about uh, any method that I used uh, for this tutorial, write it down on the comments. And uh, if you know something more or another method to uh, make an apartment or a high-rise building with Archicad, write it down on the comments and share it with everyone. Don't forget to, we are here to uh, learn, practice, and share. So that would be nice too if we learn something new, we share it with everyone. And this is it for this tutorial. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.